last long-term relationship I had ended pretty badly. Um, I have to say, I knew it wasn't going to last because the guy used to say the stupidest things to me. One night we're sitting at dinner and he's like, you know, my wife is going to be built like a Barbie doll. <laughs> so I was like, okay, either you're not going to marry me or perhaps you're trying to tell me that Mattel's coming out with a new Italian Barbie. <laughs> Complete with our own dream kitchen. Wouldn't it be great if they had an Italian Barbie? You'd have to get it one of those pull strings to talk. You know, you pull the string and she'd be like, Okay, first of all, <laughs> my name is not Barbie, all right? You call me by my God-given birth name, Barbara Marie Antoinette Marcello. <laughs> and if you think for one second that I'm going to ride around in my Malibu Corvette with that pansy-ass Ken, <laughs> you got another thing coming for me, a guy named Vinny, <laughs> dressed in leather. And when I peek down his pants, that better be something there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many people, by round of applause, have ever seen a Barbie or Ken doll without their clothes on? Well, somebody over here is a little bit more excited about that than they should be. I don't know. Essentially, what we teach our children to play with these dolls so is very thin women with abnormally large breasts are attracted to preppy men with no dick. <laughs> Go figure. Many women are just so different, though, you know? I'm going to admit something right now that a lot of women may not have the nerve to admit. But sometimes I suffer from what is clinically known as penis envy. <laughs> it's true. Mostly when I'm in a public bathroom. You guys have got it so easy. You're in, you're out, zip, flip, drip, you're done. <laughs> we have to go through a production, don't we, ladies? We either have to hover above the bowl like an Olympic athlete, <laughs> Or we have to carefully lay out tissue paper to sit on. And the automatic flushing toilet is a girl's worst nightmare. As soon as you've got the paper laid down on the toilet, <laughs> the force of the flush either blows the paper off the seat or it sucks it down. And if you are lucky enough to sit down when your business is not quite finished yet, <laughs> and your ass is soaking wet. <laughs> sitting on is stuck to your butt. And then the guys wonder, what takes those girls so long in the bathroom? <laughs> Makes me crazy. But I love my pets. I do. I really do. I, 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 no matter what kind of day I've had, I can always expect to be greeted in the same way. That happy wagon tail, garbage strewn throughout the house. And when I'm really lucky, the fresh smell of dog poopy wafting from the kitchen. Oh, pets are so relaxing, aren't they? Smoking's relaxing, too. How many smokers we have? Oh, the few, the proud, the stinky. <laughs> I'm trying to start myself. I'm having a hard time with it, though, you know? I'm trying to figure out what it is that, that's stopping me the most. Is it the, the bad taste, the, the bad smell, or that tight-chested feeling I wake up with in the morning? You know, I wish they'd come out with one of those starter patches, you know? You could gradually step your way up to addiction. That would be great, wouldn't it? Somebody should invent that. It wouldn't be crazier than any of the other inventions that are out there. Have you ever thumbed through one of those um, in-flight magazines? They're like Sky Mall, Sky Emporium, Sky Emporium, I forget what the hell they're called. But they got all these really funky, freaky inventions in it. Last week on my way back from Florida, I'm looking through one of these. I come across this item called the Turbo Tie Rack. The caption read something like this. By pressing the turbo button, you can review your entire tie collection, up to 72 ties, in about 10 seconds. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but the first thing that pops into my mind is a 76-year-old grandfather going over to the turbo tie rack, trying to pick out a tie from church, pressing the turbo button, and being beaten to death by his entire tie collection in under 10 seconds. <laughs>
excited about it. It's a big movie. It's um, the third in the series of the I, I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's the follow-up to I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Right now the working title is I Vaguely Remember What You Did the Summer Before. <laughs> I think they're going to go with that. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Stars that Sarah Michelle Love Hewitt, Holly Marie Holmes girl, you know what I'm talking about? I'm yeah, real excited about working with that skinny bitch. <laughs> yeah. And if I sound like I have a little animosity, it's because this morning I had quite a traumatic thing happen to me. I um, found my first gray hair. Oh. Yeah. oh. Thank you. It wasn't on my head. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little concerned. I mean, I think it was a gray hair. Could have been a cobweb, I don't know. <laughs>